Hi, I'm Daryl Eng, and I'm filling in for Amy Carr and her class today and near the end of the month. And so I'll be taking you through some of my workouts that I do with Western Style Martial Arts actually here at, at this uh, facility as well. And I hope you enjoy it. So let's get ready, and we're going to start our warm up. The first thing we're going to do is what's called a triple heater. It's part of the um, Chinese eight brocades of breathing exercise, qigong movements. And so um, it's, it's from the silk, and, silk Road Brocade. So that's why all your moves, just like when you see Tai Chi, they're always gonna be silky and smooth. So we'll start off. So women, you're gonna take your left hand over your right as we just do a standing meditation. And for men, it's going to be the right hand over the left. So let's just breathe for a minute. And we're going to breathe in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Slowly breathe in. Hold it. And just exhale out. And just relax. Feel all the tension just going through your back. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Feel that just kind of your back just relaxing. Breathe in. And out. Okay, now for the triple heater. Go ahead and just reposition a little bit. Nice, comfortable standing pose. And now your hands will slowly go up as you reach for the sky. Breathe in as you're reaching up. Place your fingers together, stretch up. And now just release. Slowly exhale through your mouth. We're gonna do this seven more times. Just two, breathe in, breathe out, feel all the tension just go, just three, four, just easy silky movements. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. Excuse me a second, I forgot to close the door. <laughs> and we're back. All right, the next one here, and uh, we start working our wrist. This helps kind of to help prevent car car carpal tunnel. So your palms are facing the floor and you're just going to rotate in and out. Start loosening up the wrist, in and out. Good. And then let's just wave to each other. Thigh up and down. Okay, now palms facing together. And you will rotate up to the ceiling and down to the floor. And these wrist movements are actually pretty critical in a lot of our martial arts moves. Okay, and now we're gonna roll the wrist. So just take your pinky, roll it towards you, and then fold your fingers in, roll up, and just keep repeating. Good. It's 
awesome. Okay, and then just go the other way. Okay, and now the next part of our warm up here, excuse me while I use my cheat sheet, we've got our shoulder windmill rotation. So go ahead and take your right foot in front of your left, and we're going to take our left arm and we're going to just windmill back. Keep it nice and loose. Nice and loose. Just warm up those shoulders. Okay, good. Now let's rotate forward. I hope this cools you down in Arizona just doing this. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to switch legs and it's going to be your left, my right, your left. Um, yeah, bear with me as I get my right and left coordinated with your right and left. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and rotate your arm. It should be your, your right arm <laughs> rotating back. Very good. Just loosened up. Okay, forward. All right, let's go back and just stand in a regular position here. And we're just gonna go ahead and do arm swings and touch the backs of our shoulders. Almost done with our little warm up here, and then we're going to start working on our cardio today. All right, and then let's see. After that, let's do some shoulder shrugs. Eh, what the heck? It's a shoulder shoulder shrug here. <laughs> I should be waking up that upper delt. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Good. All right. Now, get, get a little wider stance. Let's put our arms straight out, and we're going to do waist turns starting on your, your right. <laughs> Sorry. So here we go. And we're going to go one. And then hold the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Shake it out. We're going to start into our workout now. And I've got a whole circuit for you. Uh, just go through the list real quick. We're going to be doing jumping jacks, psoas, um, leg raises. We'll do crunches. We have jump squats, uh, saw pull. Rhomboid, shrugs, um, we're going to do front kicks, side kicks, Heisman jump, we've got a, a, a glute booty bridge, and then also a glute booty bridge butterfly, I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll have um, also glute heel lift, so we're going to be working on our booty a little bit, and then we've got push-ups, um, we're going to go ahead and use our light weights for chest flies, pullovers, tricep work, and then we will repeat that circuit again. So first thing is we're going to start our jumping jacks. And if you have um, bad knees, it's tough for you, you can go ahead and just do this. We're going to start raising our heart rate, okay? So let's get ready for our 50 jumping jacks and 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Woohoo! Good job. Next thing we have going on is we're going to lift our legs. Actually, I want you to bring your knee up. So that's how you're going to be lifting up straight up towards the sky or the ceiling, starting with. <laughs> excuse me, your right side. And when we lift between right and left, that counts, constitutes as a one, a one, one count, okay? So let's get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. You feel it there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten more. One, two, three. Bring it up high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Good job. All right. So we got that. Time for crunches. So let's make sure uh, we get in a nice, comfortable position. I want your knees bent. We're going to be protecting our lower back. And you want to make sure you imprint your lower spine down your mat, set in your belly button. And don't pull on your head because I don't want you straining the neck. You can either keep your fingers on the side of your head, right behind the neck, but you're still not going to be pulling. Or you can lay your hands on your chest and you're going to be lifting your shoulders up off the mat and then back down. Ready? And one, two, pin your spine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. Good job. Just roll yourself up. Okay, now we're gonna get our heart going a little bit more, and we're gonna be doing our jump squats. I have two sets of 20. Now, if you have a tough time coming down and jumping up a little bit, just come up. And if you're getting tired, that's okay. Again, just go at your own pace. The other thing is I want to make sure you have good posture and form. So when you come down, 
It's like sitting in a chair. You're going to come down, try to get into a 90 degree, 90 degree position. And I, I get in the prayer position just to keep my um, frame straight. And I keep my head pointing up, looking up at the ceiling. So it keeps me from tilting down and being in this bad position right here where we see a lot of senior citizens, they have a tough time trying to get up out of chairs. And so um, when I work with older people, I work their quads so they can just go straight up. It's just straight up. But we're gonna do a little jump with that, okay? So let's get ready for our first set of 20. Get ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Feel that? Should be a little bit of burn now. So go ahead and shake that out for a second. I will take a water break here. <coughs> Excuse me, and you can too. Okay. Should uh, start feeling your heart rate going up as well. You guys are doing awesome. All right. Are you ready for the next set? One more set of 20. Get ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Also that little jump, that low impact, it's good for trying to create some good bone density. All right, now, we're gonna start doing a little bit of our shoulder work. So we've got your light weights, and we're gonna go ahead and do a saw pull, or like you're trying to start up a lawnmower. You're gonna make sure your form again is good. I want you to keep your back straight, not rounded. Part of the secret is always looking up and that will straighten out your back. So, with your right arm, we'll start off. And we're gonna go do 10 of these. You'll just bend over about 45 degrees, support your torso with your left hand on your left leg, your weight down, you're gonna be pulling up and you're gonna actually bring your, your elbow up. So don't be shrugging your shoulder and elbow all the way up. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's switch to your left side. Position correctly. Get ready. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, so next one. You folks probably haven't really worked out your back muscles a lot. We're going to work the wrong boys, which are right at the uh, sides of your shoulder blades and your spinal column. And we're gonna work those muscles. And we're gonna do what I call a rhomboid shrug. So we did a shoulder shrug. Now we're gonna, again, bend over at a 45 degree. We're gonna use our light weights. 
and we're going to squeeze those muscles into our upper spine right there. Okay, so if you have a little bit of a heavier weight for that, that'll be good. I'm going to stand to the side again for a second and protect your back, look up and squeeze those muscles into your spine, upper, upper spine there. Hold it for a second. Good. We're going to do nine more. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. That is awesome. Okay. Let's see. So we've got that. And now we're going to go ahead and work on our kicks. We're going to do, we're going to do ten front kicks on each leg. We'll start with the right side. If you need something to balance, you can either hang on to a wall or have a chair. And we'll go ahead and start with our right side front kick. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's go to your left side. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, the next one is our side kick. You're going to be on your right side, and you're just going to kick out to the side. All right? Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So now, for those that you don't, don't know your football, you know that you got that Heisman pose with the football trophy. We're going to be doing the Heisman jump side to side. Now, again, if you can't jump, just step, just step. So we're gonna start on your right side and we'll be doing this, okay? We get ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. When I'm teaching this in my other class, we we'll usually do about 50, and we'll go a lot faster as we try to really get that heart rate up. <laughs> so you can try that uh, on your own. And now, if you're ready for some booty work, we're going to go ahead and start with a very familiar move, the boot bridge. And we'll go ahead, lay down on our mat, protect our spine, imprint. And then I'm going to go ahead and just push our pelvis up to the ceiling. So we got 20 of those. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Good job. And now to complement that one, we've got, um, we're going to be in the bridge position and we're going to do what's called the butterfly this time. And so, you know how butterfly wing does that. And that's what we're going to be doing. And so, we'll be in your boot bridge position and you're going to butterfly. And we're going to do 20 of these. Okay. So, let's get ready. And one, two, bring those knees down as far as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push that booty up, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Good job. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little burn in your booty there. And now, last one in this little series is just the heel lift to the ceiling. So get in the tabletop position. Don't uh, sink your spine down, but keep your abdominal muscles tight. And we'll start with your left leg. And you want to be in a, see how my quad is parallel to the floor, I'm not dropping it down. I'm going to keep my foot flat and parallel to the ceiling and just push my heel up and back down. And we got, um, how many of these then? We're going to go ahead and do 20. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, push that heel up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Let's go ahead and switch to your right side. And get in the right position again, foot flat. You're going to push that heel up high to the ceiling. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Woo, woo, woo. You're doing fantastic. Thanks for following along. All right, now next one we have. We're done with the uh, booties for a little bit. Now we got push-ups. So if you're ready for your push-ups, if you have a tough time, you can either plank and uh, instead of planking on your elbows, just go ahead and do a push-up plank. Make sure you're nice and straight and you're not sagging down. Keep that position. Um, if you have a tough time doing that, you can get on your knees. But otherwise, we'll do a regular push-up. Let's get ready, and we're going to go ahead and do, um, what do I have for you guys here? <laughs> 10, actually. Ready? And one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Three. Inhale. Exhale out, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good job. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and do a chest fly 
on the floor with your light weights. And I'll face you in the camera here. You're going to make sure again that you're going to be lying straight down and print your spine into your mat. Keep your knees bent. Press that belly button down. And then just come out in a cross position. We're going to go do that. We're going to go ahead and do 15 of these. And we're going to just be coming straight up over our head and back down. Ready for 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, four, and five. Just come down, put your weights next to you. Just roll up for a second because I need to look at my cheat sheet here. And then uh, the next one is a chest pull over. And I'm going to show you that from the side. I'm going to use a little bit heavier than this. And again, same position that we were just previously in, protect your spine, imprint, and you're going to actually cup one weight in your both hands, and you'll have it over your head, just like this, and then you're just going to come up slightly, just past, straight up, forward, and then back down. Ready for 15? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four. And five, good job. And we're gonna still stay on the floor for the next part of the program here. And from there, we're gonna work on our little flabby arm side, the tricep. We're gonna do a lift extension and find the appropriate weight that you like to use, either a little bit lighter, a little heavier in both hands. Same protective position on the floor. You're going to be holding your weight straight up. And what you're going to do is just keep your lower part of your arm just 90 degrees to the floor. And we're only going to be moving at the elbows. And we're going to be working our tricep muscles. And so 90 degree position like that. And then back up straight up. Get ready. And one, two, 90 degrees, three. Four, exhale, five, exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, go ahead and just roll up. And then we've got one more or two more. Um, well, hang on, no, it's one more. Sorry about that. Tricep exercise. And this time we're going to go ahead and stand up and we're going to do a tricep kickback. So, like I showed you before earlier, when we were doing um, our jump squats, we're going to be in a 45 degree position. Keep your back straight, look up at the sky. We're going to use a little heavier weight on this one. And we'll start on your right side. So we're gonna go ahead and brace with our left hand and look up at the sky. And when we come up, you don't just bring it, bring your elbow up, but bring it. See how I start to go back a little bit? And also I'm gonna pronate out this way. So I'm also getting a little bit more delt work again. Get ready and one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Other side. And get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. And fantastic. Woohoo! All right, go ahead and just take a quick water break. And we're going to go ahead and start this circuit all over in a minute here, or less than a minute. Take a breather, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, just start to relax again. Shake out your shoulders if you need to, your legs. I hope you got a little bit of a good muscle burn going on right now. Your heart rate's up. Feel like you got a good sweat going on. <clears throat> okay. Let's get ready again. 50 jumping jacks. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Woohoo! All right. Let's get those psoas leg raises again. Let's get ready. Starting on your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Good job. Ready for those crunches? Go ahead and imprint your spine, suck in your belly button, and remember not to pull on your neck. We got 40, get ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. Fantastic. Okay, let's get ready for those jump squats again. 
two sets of 20. Nice prayer position, good body posture. Let's get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Okay, this is where you get your water break again. Shake it out. That's the one that usually starts to get us a little bit winded. All right. Speeding through this a little bit more. So we went through already correct posture and that sort of thing. So the second go around is a little bit faster. So our heart rate will stay up a little bit higher. Hey, are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Good job. Shake it out. Okay, ready for that saw pull exercise again with your weights. Go ahead and Excuse me, start on your right side. Let's get in the proper position, keeping our back straight, head up, and we're going to just pull straight up like we're pulling the chainsaw or lawnmower rope. And how many was I going to do again? Oh, yeah, <laughs> 10. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Now, uh, after that, we have that rhomboid shrug. Again, so we'll be squeezing those upper back muscles against the spine. Be in that proper position. Protect your back. Look up. Get ready and squeeze. Hold it. One. Let go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Hopefully, those back muscles are getting activated. If you haven't activated them that much, and you're they're going, hey, what are you doing to me? <laughs> All right, let's get ready for our. Front kicks, we'll start with your right leg. Remember, if you need balance, wall or chair is fine. Right leg, 10 kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, side kick with your right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, left leg. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Awesome. Okay. Now, Heisman jumps, starting on your right, then left, right, left. Get ready for 20 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. And you know, at the end, if you want to do your pose, you can. I do this a lot for downhill skiing. It helps me uh, when I'm racing, and I can help. I can work the uh, IT bands along with my quads. All righty, back to our booty. Let's do that loop bridge. We've got 20 of those. Get ready and one, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze those buns. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Then from here, just bring your feet a little bit closer together. We're going to do the butterfly loop bridge. So bring your pelvis back up nice and high, squeeze those buns. And now butterfly out the legs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. And hopefully your booty is thanking me for firming it up. And then from there, we've got that tabletop on the right side. I'm going to be doing the heel press up to the ceiling. Good form, leg a quad parallel to the floor, heel straight up. Get ready for 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Let's go to your other side, the left, and see you ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Good job. You guys are awesome. Okay, ready for your push-ups? So one thing I just want to mention that I did last time, I want to make sure that we're Always doing our push-up correctly. We want to protect our rotator cuff, especially as we get older. This can get injured pretty easily. And I'm actually nursing one on my, my left shoulder, actually. And so um, you want to protect your AC joint and um, your rotator cuff. And so when you're doing your push-up, a lot of people do it wrong. Let's see if you can see. They flare their elbows straight out. So it's going straight across with your shoulders and it actually should be 45 degrees back to help protect and isolate and you're only working on your pecs here, okay? So don't have it parallel or straight with your shoulder. Bring it back so the elbow is 45 degrees back. All right, so let's get ready. And if you need to, you can either plank or on your knees. We're gonna do 10, get ready and one, two, three, four. Push up on the chest. Five, six, seven, eight. All the way down. Nine and 
10. Good job. Okay, now, after that, we'll go back to our chest flies again. Face you here and grab our weights. Knees bent. You're going to imprint your spine, suck in your belly button. Bring the weight straight up over your head for a second and then come in a cross position. And we'll go ahead and we'll do 10. Ready? And one, two, you can bend your elbows a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic. Go ahead and just grab one weight still. Just switch so you can. See from the side. Now we're going to do the chest pull over, suck in your belly button. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you really want a good workout with this and you feel steady and able to hold your dumbbell like this, um, when I'm working out either at home or at the gym, I'll usually use, for more repetitions, I'll, I'll usually use a 30 pound weight. And if I'm going for a little bit of uh, bodybuilding mass, I'll try for probably a 45 or a 55 pound weight doing this move. And then I have short reps. <clears throat> All right. And now, after that, we got our triceps again. We're going to work on flabby arm side. And let's see. Oh, we're going to still do that on the floor. Sorry about that. This is the last floor exercise. And just remember straight up over your head. Bring your elbows back 90 degrees and back up to the ceiling. Get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Good job. Okay, now we're going to be standing up again. We're going to be going ahead and doing that tricep uh, kickback. Now, the first part of the circuit, I had you doing it uh, this way as we were kicking back. And um, I think I had you pony it out. This time, I just want you to kick it back, just like that, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and do 20 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. You should be feeling it on the short heads of your triceps here. And I just realized on our first circuit, I actually had to do more of a back delt exercise than actually the kickback. So sorry about that. Ready? And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Good job. Woohoo! Give yourself a clap, pat on the back. Now we're all done with the regular part of the cardio workout. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a cool down. 
First thing is let's go ahead and sit on our mat. I want you to have just nice posture. So just like in finishing school, you want to have nice posture. And so don't roll your back. Don't sit back like this. This will help with keeping your lumbar in good shape and just sit straight up. I want your legs just flat on the floor. Point your toes straight up to the ceiling. And now I want you to just start reaching as far forward as you can. And we're going to stretch out those hamstrings. Now, sometimes people's hams are more flexible when their toes are in a duck foot position rather than straight up. This is harder actually. So if you find it easy here, bring them up and see how far you can stretch out your hamstrings without bringing your knees up. So let's just reach out. Keep good posture still. Try not to roll and drop your head. Good. Just hold it there. Start working on your breathing a bit in through the nose. Hold it. Slowly out through the mouth. Exhale. And just think, relax every time you're exhaling. Breathe in. Hold it. And <laughs> so relax. I just see it. Oh, oh. Back in. Okay, now a little quick groin neck uh, stretch. So you want to still maintain good posture. I want you to spread your legs out as far as you can, because then we're going to go further. <laughs> so once you're there, now I want you to start, you want to leave your heels where they are, and you want to start scooting up as far as you can to get even more of that stretch. You might start feeling it in your ligaments right here on the side. If you do, bring your legs back towards center a little bit more. And again, keep good posture. Try not to lean back and hold your torso up, but be in good posture. Don't roll your back. Keep on your, up with your breathing exercises. Very good. Very good as we're cooling down. My body's going, woo, thank you very much for that workout. This kind of starts helping to open up the hips. So I work with my students on this, uh, especially for their side kicks, their roundhouse kicks, their crescent kicks. This is very important. All these uh, exercises here help work the uh, lower body and giving us strength. And one thing I discovered working with seniors is that your overall body strength is actually very indicative of your overall leg strength. And seniors, as they get weaker, their legs are very, very weak. And that's why they have a tough time walking and they start hunching over as well because their balance is off and they think that um, if they hunch over, their balance is better, they'll catch themselves from falling, not realizing that it's making them more prone to falling. So when my mom turned uh, about 83, I started really working her out um, because we go for walks and then wintertime was really tough because she couldn't walk uh, outside a lot. And so we had gone from 10 square blocks to a half a block when springtime came, so I created a new program for her and we got her back up to 10 square blocks for quite a number of years. And that's all through um, exercise, with cardio, low impact, and a lot of leg work, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring our legs back to center. We've got one more stretch and we're gonna do it from the downward dog position. And we're going to go ahead and get into the pigeon pose. So we're going to go ahead and open up our hips and we're going to stretch 
this part of the glute and our IT band. So we'll go ahead. Let's get me down with dog. And then bring your right leg straight up for a second. You can come down, tucking your heel over to your left. And then let's touch down a bit. And on top of that, since you have your mat, you can use that as a measurement to bring your knee past the um, right edge of your mat. And then we go ahead and take our left leg, slide it back, bring our instep down, slide back as far as we can. Also make sure that the instep of your foot is in line with your shin so it takes pressure off your ACL. And then we just come straight forward and just relax. Feel that stretch. Open your glute, down to your IT band. You can bring your forehead down to the floor. That's good. And continue to keep working on your breathing as we cool down. After this, we will have one more um, of the eight brocades breathing exercises that will be all done for today. So, you guys, thank you very much. Big mahalo. Hey, Moose. And uh, appreciate you allowing me to work with you today. Okay, let's come back up. Slide that left leg forward. Bring the right leg back. Let's go back into downward dog. Now, the left leg up. Okay, start swinging it in. Cross. And then your knee comes. And again, just past the edge of your mat. Now, with your right leg, you slide back. Feel that stretch there. Now come forward. Just relax, keep breathing. All right, let's just come back up for a second into baby pose as a stretch out. Okay, let's come up to the standing position. Just a nice, easy stance. And now, this is called the owl pose. And again, we'll breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth, and it's gonna be very similar to when we first started um, for our breathing exercises. And what we're gonna do is, as we breathe in, we're gonna bring our arms out and our palms facing forward. And we also just pull our shoulders back. So that's this part of the movement as we inhale and then we'll exhale, okay? The other part of this movement is rotating our head like an owl does to each side. So we'll go ahead and start with your right side. Breathe in and hold it. Breathe out. Relax, feel the tension go away. In. Do that. So I've been doing this breathing exercise. That's number four. It's number five. And, um, a lot of these movements for many, many years now. I'm part of the old Bruce Lee school here in Seattle. 
And so this is number six. Bruce was way ahead of his time with a lot of exercises. And I realized he had already created his own version of P90X before P90X was even around. So conditioning has always been very important and paramount in a lot of our training. Number seven. And the last one. All righty. Give yourselves a big pat on the back, a little applause. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.